Joining us now on the program is Krishara Allen, the founder, president, and CEO of Empower My Future. Thank you for joining us today, Krishara. Thank you for having me, Tyler. It's good to be here. Yeah, glad to have you on and tell us more about your organization. First off, uh, you're the founder of Empower My Future. Tell us about the organization and what prompted you to ultimately uh, put this effort forward. Sure. Uh, so Empower My Future was started in 2009, and basically we started off as a gap-filling service. After uh, graduating from college, I went on to uh, become a um, substitute teacher for quite some time, and I saw that the things that we learned when I was in school, uh, in high school specifically, uh, were not being taught in schools at that time. Uh, for instance, I'm, I'm a product of the Detroit public school system. I graduated from Mumford High School in 1999 under uh, Linda Spike. Principal Linda Spike, and they, despite what people say about Detroit public schools and things like that, when I graduated, they really uh, were a a family institution, and they equipped us not just during high school, but for life afterwards, for uh, college, and you know uh, how to conduct ourselves as adults afterwards. So they they really had a lot of things in place um, to help us advance in life. And once I became, uh, went into education a little bit myself, I saw that some of those things were uh, not exactly in place the way they used to be. So we started as a gap filling service and, uh, you know, saw a few needs and started to fill them. We um, had classes like healthy eating, uh, money saving. Uh, we taught students website design, uh, team building skills, and we also taught etiquette you know, how to conduct themselves in an interview, how to give a presentation, how to speak to one another properly and things like that. You can find more information on the website, empowermyfuture.org. That's empowermyfuture.org for more information. And Krishara, as uh, these this organization's developed, what have then become the resources or the programs that are available to this organization to individuals in the community? So we do have a uh, job readiness program, but our main program right now is the community technology program. It's a digital upskilling uh, initiative. And it came about because we saw during COVID that lots of wonderful organizations were uh, really blessing people with devices, with uh, laptops and computers, with uh, devices, cell phones and, and Chromebooks and things like that. But the problem was that people didn't know how to uh, completely use the devices. They didn't know how to maximize, you know, the, the the device in which they were given. So we put together a program to do just that, to teach them how to engage with and uh, use the devices that they currently have to the utmost, along with some other devices that we'll be introducing them to as well. Again, more information can be found on the website, Empower My Future. Dot org, as well as on Share Detroit's website at sharedetroit.org. You can, talk, you can uh, go to there, find a nonprofit section, and learn more information about how to get involved with these organizations, including Empower My Future, some of their needs that you can help out with, as well as other opportunities uh, on top of that. And Kishara, as we talk about the services that are provided, tell us more about uh, your job readiness and digital upskilling initiatives, too, both which are critical in today's world. So the Digital Upskilling Initiative is the community technology program that I just spoke about. Um, in addition to that, and within the uh, Digital Upskilling um, Community Technology Program, we're also encompassing job readiness in that. So we're uh, instructing on career advancement, professional presence, uh, networking, interview prep, and resume writing. And then uh, beyond that, you have some volunteer opportunities too if people want to get involved because a lot of these things <clears throat> require a certain expertise or a certain level of expertise to help people develop some of these skills too. Talk about the volunteer opportunities that are out there for people that may want to help others with digital upskilling or be ready for going into an, a job interview or being ready to start a new job or even a new career. Right. Thank you, Tyler. So we currently have a, a couple opportunities available out there. Uh, mainly we're looking for uh, folks to assist with resume writing. We received a, a nice donation from uh, Share Detroit of $1,000, and we really want to use that to 
um, support other local nonprofits and businesses and their efforts. And we've teamed up with a couple that have some events uh, coming up in the future. The dates haven't been solidified yet, but they are uh, hosting events to help those that are uh, seniors that have been previously incarcerated and or homeless. And we're lending support to them by providing uh, workshops with interview prep and uh, resume preparedness. And we're looking for volunteers to help with those resumes on site. So we're looking to go to these events, have our uh, laptops laid out and help those as they come in if they need resume help uh, right on the spot. We're joined by Krishara Allen, the founder, president and CEO of Empower My Future, one of over 300 charities and nonprofits supported on the Share Detroit platform. More information on sharedetroit.org or go to their website directly, empowermyfuture.org. That's empowermyfuture.org for more information. And let's talk a little bit about that relationship that your organization has with Share Detroit. We had talked uh, back on Giving Tuesday with Share Detroit about some of their efforts to provide additional funding to many of these charities and nonprofits to support uh, their systems and, the, and their resources. You received some funding from the Giving Tuesday initiative from Share Detroit. Uh, how important was that funding to be able to provide the services at the extent that you do? And then what, what ended up coming from some of those funds going into your organization? Yeah, that, that funding is essential for any small grassroots organization. We really appreciate Share Detroit. Uh, and how they really help to, uh, you know, help folks become more aware of the smaller organizations. And we are, like I said, looking to partner with other organizations and provide support to them just as support has been given to us. More information can be found on empowermyfuture.org. That's empowermyfuture.org. And uh, beyond a lot of these more technical skills, such as job readiness or digital upskilling, among the other goals of the organization was to implement a community garden. Can you tell us about that effort and, and where that is at? So we we're, we really would like to see uh, many community gardens, actually. Um, there's so many areas in Detroit, especially, um, that have food deserts. And these food deserts are in areas where, uh, you know, folks are generally low income. Uh, may not have adequate transportation, and they do not have access to healthy, affordable food. A lot of times their food sources may come from dollar stores or gas stations uh, or, you know, uh, things like that. They don't have the big uh, supermarkets that some other areas have. They don't have that, you know, quick, easy access to affordable, healthy food. So we would like to see food gardens in each community um, that are tended to by the, the folks, the neighbors in each neighborhood, and they're able to reap the benefits of the gardens that they tend. There, there, there's so many empty lots around the city um, that would just be a perfect use to implement in each and every neighborhood or subdivision or what have you. Over 10,000 families in Metro Detroit have been impacted by the work of your organization since its founding in 2009. From, from those that you do interact with uh, and, and have interacted with over those years, to, you know, just give us some insight into just how much of an impact these sort of programs and these resources do have for individuals and families in our area. Yeah, so they, these are really underserved areas um, and groups that are uh, underserved that we're targeting. Uh, we're targeting youth that are aging out of foster care, uh, seniors, the homeless, uh, previously incarcerated individuals, folks that um, may have been overlooked, you know, historically. And we want to continue to be a gap filler for those populations. And, you know, uh, other organizations like Share Detroit and you all even helping us to get the word out improves our impact. And uh, we're, we're extremely grateful for that. More information can be found on their website, empowermyfuture.org. You can also go to sharedetroit.org, go into the find the nonprofit section and search Empower My Future to find more information as well as opportunities with the organization and other ways that you can help them out as well, including. Uh, with financial donations. Empowermyfuture.org 
is their website. Grishara, uh, just another couple minutes with you before we'll say goodbye. We're joined by Grishara Allen, the founder, president, and CEO of Empower My Future. Uh, it, if there's anything else that we haven't discussed yet that would be important for audience to know, uh, uh, please let us know uh, and, and tell us anything else you'd like to about your organization and the work that it does. Sure. Uh, if you know, if there, if you're a site coordinator for a senior building, or if you um, are a part of a faith-based organization or uh, any other organization that may target those um, populations that we spoke about earlier, please reach out to us. Feel free to email me uh, if you would like to see the community technology program implemented at your place. We're very mobile. Uh, we go out to each and every site ourselves. No one has to come to us. We go out to each site, take our devices, and we give instruction on site. Uh, so if anybody's interested in having a community technology program at their site, please email me. My email is Krishara, I'll spell it, Krishara at empowermyfuture.org. That's C-R-I-S-S-H-A-R-A -S -S at empowermyfuture.org. More information can be found on the website at empowermyfuture.org as well as on sharedetroit.org. Krishara, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.